When it comes to playing games on your phone, touch isn't always the way you want to play these games. Yeah, there are some games such as Doken Battle where pretty much the whole game was designed around touch, but there are also other games such as Dead Cells where a controller is probably the best way to play the game. Yeah, there's other ways around that as well. You could get something like an 8-bit Duke controller or even a PlayStation or an Xbox controller and connect it to Bluetooth. And you can even buy one of these clips where you can put your phone on top of it and pretty much use it that way. That does work to an extent, but it's also very uncomfortable in my opinion. I've used this setup for quite some time and I can say that over like maybe a couple minutes, my wrist will start hurting and I don't really recommend it that way. But that's where something like this comes in hand. The Backbone Controller. The Backbone Controller is a controller that pretty much connects to your device, whether it's iOS or Android. And basically it gives you that Switch-like feel, I would say. And when I mean Switch-like, you'll probably understand what I mean later on. But it's a nice setup, it's very lightweight, and then it just makes you feel like you're playing an actual portable console. Now there's a lot of neat things that the Backbone Controller actually brings to the table. But before I get into that, don't forget to like and subscribe and also leave a comment in the comment section below. It does help us out. We do see that about 80% of you guys have not subscribed to the channel, so definitely hit that subscribe button because it really does help us out. I'd also like to give a huge shout out to one of our viewers who actually provided us with this unit. We like to just call him Ken Masters. We won't give you his real name, but huge shout out to Mr. Ken Masters for providing us with this unit. We really appreciate you. Without further ado, let's talk about this Backbone controller. The Backbone controller is a really neat controller and probably the best controller you can get on the market for your iOS or Android device. Honestly, when it comes to build quality, I don't think there's anything that beats this. I've tried things such as the Razer Kishi and yeah, it's pretty decent, but in my opinion, it wasn't the best controller around. The thumbsticks and the face buttons just felt very mushy. Uh, and it, it just wasn't my cup of tea, it was very bulky, the design was kind of ugly, which is, you know, ugliness is really not a big factor to it, but I just didn't care for it. But in comes the backbone controller with a really sleek design. Starting off with the face buttons. The face buttons right here in this particular version has the PlayStation setup. There is also an option to get the Xbox setup, but in this case, I was actually sent this version that actually has a PlayStation setup. You have your X, or rather cross, your square, your triangle, and your circle. You do have two thumbsticks, and these thumbsticks are actually Joy-Cons, basically. Yeah, a little bit different, I would say, but they're very similar in feel to the Joy-Con thumbsticks. You do have a pretty interesting D-pad. The D-pad is not that bad, but, you know, it's, it's decent, I would say. When it comes to using it for, like, 2D platforms, I think you can get by. And then you have what would be, like, the options button or a start button and a select button or like a menu button and then you have a capture button and the backbone button now what the backbone button does is basically it launches a third party app made by backbone themselves and it's pretty much a front end for all your games that are available on the android play store or the ios app store now at the bottom you do have a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack which is neat I myself just got into IEM, so having a headphone jack is actually really good. I would really like that they add that to your device. And on the other end, in this case, I have a USB-C charging port, but if you had the iOS version, of course, you would get the lightning charging port, which just means that you can go ahead and charge your device while also using it. At the top, we do have the R1 and L1, R2 and L2, which are your triggers, and the triggers actually feel really nice. They're actually very loose, I would say, and very neat. And I do like the way they feel. They don't feel cheap at all when compared to something like the Razer Kishi. Razer Kishi wasn't, again, I wasn't a fan of it and it's mainly because everything just felt very mushy. Now Razer Kishi did come out with a V2 which basically copied the Backbone design and you get a similar feel to it. But in my opinion, I still think Backbone does it best. When it comes to holding the Backbone, it does feel very comfortable. You do have like these rounded edges at the bottom and on the back. It makes it very easy to hold. So when playing games, you, it just feels natural. It doesn't feel like anywhere out of the ordinary. It doesn't feel too bulky or it doesn't feel like you're using like a third party device. It feels like it was made for your actual device. In this case, I do have it inside a Pixel 6a and it fits pretty perfect. I can actually make it even a little bit bigger. So if you do have bigger phones, bigger than a Pixel 6a, such as like let's say a Galaxy S23 Plus or something like that or Ultra, it would work perfectly fine with those devices. 
Now, one of my favorite things about this device is pretty much it's plug and play. The minute it's plugged into your device, basically it just works. You don't have to set it up. There's no pairing process. You don't have to worry about batteries or sync issues or anything like that. You plug it into the USB-C port in your device and you're good to go. It just works, which is really nice because a lot of times you have to go ahead and go through a pairing process and then sometimes it might not always be accurate. Sometimes it doesn't recognize the controller or you might have to do some configurations. In this case with the backbone controller, you just plug it in and it works. Like honestly, when it comes to the backbone controller, everything that I've used with it when it comes to like emulations such as LaunchBox or using RetroArch or even Dolphin, it just really worked right out of the box. I don't even have to really do any configuration at all. I just recognized it. The neat thing about LaunchBox and RetroArch, it automatically recognized the backbone controller. You can see it at the bottom showcase that backbone controller is connected. I thought that was pretty neat. I don't really see that with the 8-bit do controller, but it's nice to see that with the backbone controller. But when it comes down to it, I think the backbone controller is the best controller out there for mobile devices. I mean, they're pretty much the first one to come out with something that feels so good and feels so natural, and they perfected it. If they ever did come out with a Backbone 2, I don't know what they could make better. I mean, when I look at the controller, there's not much really missing. I guess you can add a trackpad because when doing PlayStation Remote Play, unfortunately you have to use the touchscreen on your phone to do anything that the trackpad has to do. But other than that, like it's just perfect, I would say. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Let me know what you think about the Backbone controller. Are you gonna pick it up? Or do you prefer the Razer Kishi or some other controller out there? Definitely let me know out there. Don't forget to follow us over as Twitch as well. We do go ahead and stream three days out of the week and every Sunday we do have the Random Encounter podcast where we go over the latest, greatest gaming news out there. My name is James from the Random Encounter and I'll see you guys next time.